Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be painting this beautiful and simple fall scene. And thank you so much for answering my question in community tabs and giving me an answer that you actually do like to see a series of fall paintings. So that is what I'm gonna do. Just a couple of them, not too much, just a couple of them. So this one I've started with light sketch. I drew this pathway and also a couple of trees and then moved on to painting. And I started with, I think that was golden and just painted the part near to the pathway, the ground, and as you could have seen, I did paint the entire surface of that and then added a bit on top, a little bit of olive green, and then again a little bit of a mix of ruby and cadmium red light just to paint in the first layer and add some difference in that first layer and after that I did smudge the edges on top nearest to the horizon line because I don't want them to be harsh we're painting a foggy scenery so they should bleed slightly and also painted in the part where the sky is or you know where that fog is and I've painted it with a mix of sepia indigo and just a little bit of Mother Lake red light. Same mixture of colors, but just a little bit more saturated. I used to paint in the pathway and you can see on top of the pathway, I did leave it to bleed slightly also into the sky because I do want it to look as though there are fog and maybe some pathway going somewhere and we, not, we cannot see it entirely because of that fog. And after that, I've sprinkled some paint, again, the same paint that I used for painting the first layer. And I did sprinkle some clean water because right now you can see when it dried completely, you can see the effect of clean water. It picks up the pigment slightly or it lands and, you know, it gives this beautiful texture and diversity also to that part. And after the paint completely dried, I moved on to painting the trees. First, I started with the trees that are the lightest and furthest away from us. And for that, I've used mix of sepia and ultramarine and just a little bit ultramarine to give it some grayish texture, but still very, very light and diluted because I wanted those trees to be almost not visible. Going nearer to us, I'm painting trees a little bit darker using the same mixtures, but just painting it a little bit more saturated. And as you can see on the bottom of the trees, when painting those, I'm just rinsing my brush in a clean water and then smudging it downwards because I don't want it a harsh line. I do want it to look like it goes into the ground. So I'm smudging it slightly and giving it a little leggies, little roots going on the sides. That is how I painted them. You can see that right now. I rinsed my brush and right now you can see I'm smudging it slightly downwards. I've also painted some branches of the trees and when finished with that I left it to dry completely and then moved on to painting my pathway again and I'm using on the top very very light color and on the bottom a little bit darker mixture, same mixture as I used before. When I achieved the darkness that I wanted for my pathway, I'm just using this brush, this is almost a dry brush, and picking up some paint to do a dry brushing technique and add some texture to that pathway because, you know, if it's clean and one even wash, it doesn't look very believable. So with the almost dry brush, I've added some texture to that pathway. And after that, with a script brush, I'm adding some branches to the trees and just being careful that those branches that I'm painting nearer to the us are a little bit darker. They are on the darker trees and those that are further away from us and on the trees that are further away from us, I'm painting them lighter. Of course, that is believable just keep that in mind don't paint the branches that are on those trees further away from us same darkness as you would paint the branches here near to us because you know that doesn't look believable at all you can see right now I'm just using very very light 
color and very very diluted to paint in those branches and right now with the script brush I'm adding a little bit more texture to the pathway and I'm using the side of the brush I find it to be easier when I'm doing the brushing technique I always use the sides of my brush because if you using the tip of your brush you will just paint in the line and not actually get that beautiful dry brushing te texture so just use the sides of your brush and when I was satisfied with that, I've added a couple of more sprinkles to the to the ground where the leaves are falling. And those I've added again in the same colors I used before, olive green and green, some ruby and cadmium red light, and also golden and cadmium yellow medium. Those are the colors I will be using also. I will be using some sepia and sprinkle it nearest to us you can see that right now and also I did when I've sprinkled some paint because I was sprinkling it on a dry paper it wasn't bleeding and I did want it to sprinkle it on a dry paper but I just used just a clean water and sprinkled on top it that made it bleed slightly on the sides and give that texture and not looking like dots on the paper and now I'm adding some leaves also on the branches. Those are the last ones standing on the branches. And for that, I'm using cadmium yellow medium and golden and also some olive green. When this layer dried, I did want to add just a little bit more on top. Those I want add for those I won't add water on top of it. I did I do want them to be a little bit smaller and this brush is just perfect. It I think this one works like a toothbrush. It has very stiff bristles and you can do a streaky line with that a streaky line of sprinkles with that. Just uh, pick it up on the top and go slowly with your finger and it just gives that sprinkles, shrieky sprinkles. And for the last touch, I'm adding just a little bit more details to the trees, again using that dry brushing technique and just making them a little bit more textured and not flat. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting. And of course, this video, I think it was fairly easy. I think you can absolutely do it. It's a perfect painting for fall, maybe for a gift for someone, last, time, last second gift. And I think it's quite easy. I encourage you to try it. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And give me, of course, your suggestions. I am listening to your suggestions and I do have this little book where I'm writing all your suggestions. So just note that I, I do have all of them. They will all come in their turn, I promise. And well, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subs subscribe. That would mean a really lot to me. And if you want to go even a step further, think about joining my channel. You can press the join button next to the subscribe button, see what's the offer and then decide. And you know, again, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. And well, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.